In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually update a WordPress plugin. This is part of my WordPress skills playlist. You can check that out. There's a link in the description down below. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave those down below as well. My name is Bjorn Allpass in the WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. Sometimes when you're updating plugins, you can't do it the easy way. The easy way being you go into your dashboard, you click on your plugins link here. We see we have 10 updates available and you just go ping on the update now button and it updates the plugin. That's the easy way. Another easy way, you go to update available. You check this plugin box that selects all of them. All the plugins on the update available tab are plugins that have updates. Then you just select update from bulk actions and apply and it updates all of them. Sometimes that doesn't work. Most often that's with paid plugins. For example, ones you buy from ThemeForest or CoCanyon or anywhere else. An example being Elementor. Even though Elementor does have the ability to click on update now to get the update, I'm going to show you how to update it manually as an example. So in Elementor dashboard here, we have the download zip button. You will be able to download your plugin file from somewhere and that will put a zip file onto your hard drive. And this zip file is going to be what we use to update our plugin. So our zip files on our hard drive, I'm going to log into my hosting account. This is the SiteGround cPanel for Elementor2019.com. That is this website right here where we're updating. And if we go to Site and then File Manager, your cPanel may look a little different, but these different sections are still going to exist. So just search for File Manager. You'll be able to find File Manager in whatever cPanel host you're using. You can also do this via FTP if you find that easier. Go to public underscore HTML. Go to wp-content and then plugins and Elementor-Pro. That is the outdated plugin that we're going to update. And if you want to be extra safe to make sure you don't lose the old version of your plugin, you can create an archive of this plugin. Just right click on it, click on archive, and let's call it Elementor Pro Backup. You can even add the date and time on here if you want to. Then click on confirm. And now a backup is created. We have to refresh. No, there it is right there. Elementor Pro backup.zip has been created, and that is this entire folder. So if something goes wrong when you're installing a plugin manually, you can just delete what you installed and then unzip this, and you're back to that old version. I'll show you how that works as well. So now that we have that, let's upload our new plugin file. To do that, we find the plugin file on our hard drive. In our case, it is in this backwoods folder here. Websites compress images. Not the best folder to download things, but that's how I have my Chrome set up right now. Click on File Upload, go to Documents, Websites, Compress Images, or wherever it is that you have this plugin. Then select it and click on Open, and this will upload it. And here we see the upload file right there. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And now this next part we have to do really quickly. We are going to delete this and then unzip this in very quick succession because while it's deleted and this one's unzipping, Elementor Pro is not going to be functioning on your website. So to make that time gap where Elementor Pro is not functioning as short as possible, make sure you do this part very quickly. We have a backup of this one made, so we're safe in case something goes wrong. Let's select it and delete. It's gone. Come back down here and extract. And now we have Elementor Pro back right there. And in fact, that's not Elementor Pro. This is a holding folder. So double click into there, select Elementor Pro, the folder, move it. We're just going to move it back to plugins, confirm. And now if I go back to plugins, we should have Elementor Pro here. This extra folder we can delete. Some plugins will do that. They put the plugin within a folder when you unzip it and your WordPress site will not recognize that. So you have to double check that to make sure that that's not happening for yours. So now if I come back to the site and refresh, we should have Elementor 3.3, or whatever the latest one is, and it's not on this list because we're on the Update Available tab. Let's go to All, and we see we have Elementor Pro 3.2.2. .2 .2. 
And I still have an update available because this is for the beta. I have it set up so I can install Elementor beta to see the new features before they're actually launched. If you want to do that too, I've got a tutorial showing you how to do that. Link to it in the card above and the description down below. But either way, we have the latest version of Elementor Pro, the one that's available to the public, on our site. And now I'm going to show you how we can revert. Say something goes wrong and this version of Elementor Pro somehow broke something, we want to go back to the old version. Since we're updating manually and we created a backup of the old one right here, we can go back to the old version. So if I just delete this, again, really quickly, delete Elementor Pro or whatever plugin you're updating, and then unzip the backup. And here's our backup. And I'm gonna double click into here because this also puts the Elementor Pro or whatever plugin into its own folder again, like it did when we uploaded the new version of the plugin. So let's double click into here, right click on this, and we move it back out to just dash plugins, or sorry, just plugins forward slash. And let's go back out to plugins and delete this backup folder. Now come back into here and refresh. And we now have Elementor Pro, which we have to activate, but it's back to the old version, which is 2.9.5. It was at 3.2.2 just a few minutes ago. And there'll be an update notification appearing on here in a few minutes. And that is how we manually update a plugin. And this works with any plugin that you buy from anywhere. You'll have a zip file from that plugin company. You'll back up the old one to make sure you have a backup. You upload the new one, you unzip it, make sure it's in the right folder. And then the plugin is updated. Next, check out the WordPress skills playlist right over here. I can almost guarantee you're going to learn something new about WordPress if you check it out. So do that. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.